So episode 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 begins with one of the curse group Q members begging Getu for mercy. He threatens that his comrade Bear is Q's strongest combatant and he will take care of Satoru and Getu. But Satoru sends Getu a picture, indicating he defeated him already. Meanwhile, Fushiguro watches a boat competition. Fushiguro says he's waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike at Satoru and wants someone else to weaken him. Riko awakens and slaps Satoru, questioning if he works for the men who attacked her. Getu informs Riko that he isn't with them, but Riko's not buying it and insults Getu. Riko's friend Kuroi arrives and sees the boys tormenting Riko. Riko declares that she's Tengen, and they should declare her as Tengen even after assimilating with him in the future. Riko realizes she's late for school and orders Satoru and Getu to take her there. Satoru calls Masamichi, and he informs Satoru that he and Getu must comply with Riko's demands since Tengen wants them to. Kuroi tells Gojo and Getu that Riko doesn't have a family because she lost her parents in an accident when she was little. Kuroi's taken care of her since then and asks Getu and Satoru to let Riko have fun with her friends before her assimilation. Getu tells Satoru to head to Riko's side because two of the cursed spirits he sent her way got exercised. The trio head to her school. Getu stumbles upon an enemy and engages in a mind-numbing intense bout with him. After receiving a brief flashback of the enemy's past, Getu makes quick work of his foe. Kuroi stumbles upon a masked enemy and with Getu's help, they defeat their enemy, but he escapes to fight Satoru. Satoru fights his companion's enemies and toys with him, after showing off and failing at his technique. The episode closes with Riko informing Satoru that someone captured Kuroi.